Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. All right, y'all. So we've been doing a lot of talking. We've been doing a lot of talking about the fighters that continue to call out Valentina Shevchenko and, you know, have their choice of words for, you know, whether they're respectful or disrespectful, you know, however we feel. Um, you know, we've been giving these fighters a lot of energy, but hey, look, I respect these fighters, but hey, they still got to put in that work. But let's talk about the fighters that aren't calling her out. Let's let's just talk about the fighters that are laying down the they're just laying down the foundation that are, you know, doing that groundwork and they're just getting in there and they're just putting the work in and letting the results speak for themselves. Let's talk about those fighters. And you know who I'm talking about. I got to give a shout out to Manon Firo and Taylor Santos. You know, I know we kind of give heat to Taylor Santos because she is number five. And, you know, she did defeat Joanne Calderwood, you know, um, to get to that, you know, top spot. And she should be next in line since everybody else already faced Valentina and they failed. But, you know, I still got to give Taylor Santos a lot of respect because she's just going in there working. You know, she hasn't really missed a beat. So, I mean, we really can't give her a lot of, you know, we can't give her a lot of heat like we do these other fighters that are far off. Like, she's right there, you know, and I know we should say, OK, she should be calling the champion out because she is there. But maybe that's just not in her character because... You know, she just likes to go in there and let the action speak. And that's how she's always done, right? So she's never been that type of vocal fighter. Maybe she's working on it behind the scenes. Who knows? You know, that maybe that's what she said. She, that's, maybe that's what she meant. She already knows something, you know, that we don't know. When she says, okay, I'm training for something particular, but she just didn't really want to say yet, right? So I still have to give a fighter like her a lot of respect because I like to watch the fights when it all comes down to it. You know, I, I respect the fights more so than the talk. I mean, I like to find the balance, especially whenever, you know, these fighters need to get themselves in those positions, you know, like Carla, you know, Carla Sparza, you got to speak up at some time, at some point, there are some times you got to, uh, then, you know, of course, uh, Juliana Pena, the way she talked herself into, you know, a title fight, but that's just in her persona, that's her character. Taylor Santos never really been one to, you know, do all that talking, but when she fights, she fights, you know, so I got to give her a lot of respect there because, you know, she's never been one in the division that calls out a lot of people and get this she's not one that a lot of these other girls are calling out and that's why when i bring up these other fighters you gotta gotta you gotta give them some heat because y'all keep talking about fighting valentina one day or derailing her but why are you guys not calling out the girls around you like why are you not saying hey i gotta get to taylor santos because she might be the next one let me get her when i get to the top 10 or manone oh man manone i've been eyeing her you know she thinks she valentina let me get to her first. You know, she's only like two spots away. That could happen. You know what I mean? Like, why is no why is nobody calling these fighters out? Like the, the ones that are just kind of chill, like the ones that are just chill that aren't really getting a lot of hype pushed behind them. The ones that are just brutal and going in there being dominant. I think those are the fact. Those are the key words that are factors right there. Brutal and dominant. Right. <laughs> That's why nobody's calling them out. So they don't do a lot of calling out, but they're not getting called out. Those are the fighters I got to give a lot of respect to, like Taylor again. Taylor, Taylor Santos, um, she's there now. You know, she's there. She's in that position. That's why she was in my triple threat from the beginning. And um, she's the one that I'm never going to give a lot of heat. Even if she doesn't call out the champion, I'm just not going to say anything anymore about her because her actions and, her, and the results that she's bringing in, they're, they're, they're satisfactory. They're getting the job done to me. And I think she will be that next one to get that title shot. And I think if she does, which it probably is probably looking like she is going to get that title shot, it's going to show you that actions speak louder than, word, than words when it comes down to it, right? And that all that hard work that she laid down got her to that title, right? So shout out to Taylor Santos for sure. But let's talk about this next fighter here. I had to bring it up the other day. The Beast, Manon Firo. And I don't even think it's... The fact that, you know, she can't even really, you know, speak English, you know, she doesn't really go off, you know, in that type of way, you know, even in her language. You know, I don't even think it's that, you know, it's just not in her character to be the one to talk all this trash. You know, that's why I got to give her a lot of respect. You know, I respect these silent warriors, you know, the ones that move in silence. They're the most dangerous ones, you know, I should know, you know, because that's how I like to move. You know, I when I see these fighters that are just kind of calm, cool, collected. But you see how they put on these performances that that it just makes, you know, their actions just make words not even a purpose. Right. You know, fighters like Carla, again, they have to have that balance because their performances aren't the best as far as crowd pleasing. 
you know, they have to find that balance. They have to kind of talk themselves into a title shot to, you know, to find that balance. They got to find that, you know, they got to they got to be vocal because the, the performances sometimes don't satisfy the fans. Right. But whenever Manon goes in there and fights, she's loud. She's loud. That covers everything to me. You know what I mean? The brutality that she puts on in there, the dominance, the discipline, the defense, those three Ds come up again. Everything she goes in there speaks louder than words. That's why whenever she hits the mic, I don't even want to hear her talk about, oh, I want this person. No, this person ain't is or so on. I don't even want to hear that from Manon. Like, Manon can go in there and just say, okay, you know, I did what I was supposed to do. I'm moving on from here. Because, you know, when a fighter moves like that, they are going to get elevated regardless because their performance spoke louder than the words, right? It's going to get them to that point. That's why I have to say shout out to Remy Nome because she doesn't do all that talking. She just makes sure, she's just making sure that her performance is airtight all the time. It's always airtight. Even, even her last performance against Myra Buena Silva, it wasn't a knockout, but it was an airtight victory. It was still dominant. You know, she was coming off the 19. But she said, OK, I got to go in here and still work, find a way to win. And she did that in a dominant fashion. Right. So Manon is definitely one of them fighters I'm looking at because, you know, she's not doing a lot of call outs. She's just moving. She's just moving through them. She's just moving through names. And I hope I'm hoping she does that this coming March against this coming March 5th against Jessica. I you know, I hope she goes in there and gets it done and just continue to move. I don't even want to hear her call anybody out. I just want to see her next move because she'll do it. She'll face whoever it is. But, you know, whenever you got all these other fighters calling people out, it just kind of disrupts their energy. But with Manon, the way she moves, it kind of keeps your eyes on the prize. You know what I mean? When you don't look so far ahead, you know, it, it'll keep you moving just right because you're looking at the bumps ahead of you. You know, you're not looking at this big bump over here. You know, you looking straight ahead you looking right what's in front of you you know you're not trying to look too far out right that's how manon moves that's manon is one of those fighters I, like i said look she ain't calling nobody out but nobody's calling her out <laughs> i don't ever hear anybody saying oh i'm gonna derail this hype train like nobody calling her no hype train like you know aaron did say she would fight casey o'neill and kind of said she was the one that they were hyping up as well right which i agree with but when it comes to manon it's like Hey, nobody's really calling her out. And I heard some people say, oh, because it's high risk, low reward. Psh, who cares? It's a fight game. You know, I want to see the fight. You know, y'all talk trash. You got to back it up. But yeah, that's what it comes down to, man. I just had to do this video real quick because like I said, you know, we always talking about the ones that are saying this and that. Like, oh, this person. Oh, this person said Valentina was this. Oh, this person say that. Well, let's talk about the ones that aren't talking. Let's talk about the ones that are working. Let's talk about the ones that are taking off heads. You know what I mean? And that'd be Taylor Santos. And Manon Firos. And I also think it's uh, the one thing about these two fighters, you know, they also carry that, they also have that maturity level about them, you know. Um, of course, you know, age doesn't really, age is not really a factor on how, you know, how people act, but that's the one thing about Manon, you know, her being uh, 31, 32, you know, um, she's already experienced a lot and accomplished a lot. You know, she's been through a lot in the fight game, so she knows how to approach it. That's why I have to give her a lot of uh, credit on that as well. You know, she she definitely has grown up mentally, you know, so she's definitely mature for the division and where she stands right now. That's why for her, she's kind of in that position where I can't waste time talking. It has to all be work. You know, it's almost like she's on crunch time now. You know, at 31, you know, I could kind of be that age where you don't know if that's it, you know, where you could just start losing your re reflexes or you could find your second prime, you know. So she's not taking any chances there. That's why she's not doing a lot of talking and even, you know, wasting her time. You know, she's on that clock where she's just working every day has to count for somebody, especially at that age. You know, she's like eight years, nine years older than some of these other fighters like Casey and Aaron. So that's another thing about her that um, I think, you know, she's definitely uh, matured a lot, you know, and that helps her. That's going to help her advance further than these other fighters because she's not wasting her time, you know, even answering these silly questions all the time. Like, that's the good thing about some of these French fighters and, you know, overseas fighters, you know, uh, if they don't know English. Like, they're not going to waste their time and, you know, answer these, you know, questions that, oh, well, Valentina again, Valentina, Valentina, you know, they're not going to do that. Right. Same with, uh, you know, Taylor Santos, you know, Taylor's a little bit younger than uh, Manon, but, you know, she's definitely mature for age. She carries herself, you know. Uh, like an adult in this division, you know, she has a daughter, she, you know, she has a family 
And you can see how she carries herself, too. And she carries that energy into the fight business as well. You know, not doing a lot of immature talk and just keeps going. That's why I say for these fighters, it's fine for them when I don't really hear too much come from them because, you know, they're not American anyway. And they're not that type of fighter that's going to bring that energy that's going to be forced. And their 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 actions are covering everything to me. They're that much they're so much louder when they start throwing kicks and strikes and they're choking people out. They're that much louder. You know, these other fighters that don't really come with the performances and they're just like, uh, or, you know, their defense ain't great or, you know, they're just going in there, you know, with some of the basics. They have to kind of talk themselves into certain positions. They have to have the words. But when you're just a showstopper like, you know, uh, like Manone and Taylor going in there and everybody just wants to see you, then, yeah. We don't want to hear, you know, the less said, the better. Right. So shout out to the beast, the Taylor Santos. She'll get that title shot. Don't worry. I think she will. I think she's going to be getting that title shot. And I hope she gives Valentina a great fight. You know, I definitely want to see her go in there and do something big. And uh, as for Manon, she got this fight coming up against Jessica. I I think she'll weed Jessica I out and keep going from there. You know, she'll answer the questions, but she ain't going to do a lot of talking. You know, she's going to be talking with them hands and them karate kicks. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.